There are many forms of motorsport, from humble go-karting all the way up to Formula One, but not all of them are about simply going as fast as you can. I'm here in the wilderness of Alaska to try my hand at something that is completely different. I'm here to try Road Rally. Whoa. Did this long enough, we'd actually be pros. Maybe. How to get a headache. That's what this should be called. So road rallying is a time distance motorsport event where it's not just about getting from A to B in the fastest time possible. In fact, that's not the point at all. The point is to traverse the route in a very exact way, hitting exact mile markers, traveling the exact right amount of distance at the right average speed to hit a checkpoint at exactly the right time. And you get scored on how accurately to that timing you arrive at each checkpoint. We're about to embark on the first leg of the road rally in our Chevy Cruze, which I've decided to call Tom because, you know, cars can have guy names too, and that means this is Tom Cruise. So we had the Chevy Cruze, which was named Tom Cruise by Drew. And I don't know, I wasn't completely behind that name. You're in charge of the paperwork. All right, I'm going to do my best here. <laughs> you are the navigator. <clears throat> like like that movie, Flight of the Navigator? You've probably uh, never seen it. 1985? Yeah, I was born in 88. Okay. First got there and got to the driver's meeting um, and finally kind of learned what the whole scope of the race was. I was a bit scared. There was a lot of details that I didn't understand and I knew it was going to be a battle the whole time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Right, first instructions. All first, right. what's the next thing that we're meant to encounter? Uh, Blackberry Street. Blackberry Street, okay. 0.19 miles. Oh, there. Blackberry Street. Boom. Yes. And we're at 0.1 something miles. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah, that was exactly 1.9. Oh, so no, no. Nice. 0.2. I'm already having fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to win this. <laughs> And the first section was just a straight road, just passing mile markers, uh, marks on the road, which we ended up calling misters, um, for mile reference, that you know at 0.7 of a mile, you're going to encounter this street sign or crossroad or shop or whatever. Uh, and we started like, yeah, okay. We're beginning to pass through the, the acronyms, we're beginning to understand it a little bit, get into it. Oh, okay. King Street, do it, yeah. So we should be at 2.5 there. Cruise is already getting some admiring looks. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard rally, I expected dirt roads and going really fast, but that's not what ended up happening. Ooh, a turn. Yeah, finally, a okay. turn. So when? It is 8.3. 8.3 miles? Yep. Okay, and what are we turning into? Crooked Tree Drive. Crooked Tree Drive. And then, in parentheses, it says Hillside Drive. Yep. Yeah, that looks like, looks like a right turn to me. But it's a left turn okay. onto this one. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a left. Here oh, we this go, must here we be go. a checkpoint. Here we go. Yeah. So we've made it down the entire first sheet of instructions, the kind of preamble to the real stuff without a single mistake, and we were meant to be at 16.1 miles, and we've made it 16.1 miles. It seems odd to be that excited about hitting an exact mileage, but already this is a lot more thrilling than I thought it was going to be. And we take a left turn. Yeah. Exactly. Nine. Okay. Okay, what's the next instruction? All Ooh. right, so 1.74 um, Puffin Way. Whoa. Oh, whoa. that was a much steeper turn than it looked like. Sorry about that. That's all right. Coming in hot. <laughs> Come on, Tom. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to 2.6 miles. What's the reference? The uh, Highland Walking Trail, CAS 18. I mean, we're at 2.6 now. Uh, is this a walking trail? Or is that a walking trail? I don't know, we've passed 2.6 miles. Maybe 
but we that, that looks like a walking trail. But I think that's a drive into someone's house. Oh no, there's a trail right here. Yeah, yeah, maybe this is it. It seemed like it went wrong once we started taking turns. Like it was all fun and games when we're going straight. Like, oh yes, we got that street. But once we'd take a turn, it was just very stressful. We missed the turn. We've got, we must have gone wrong somewhere. This is a dead end. We realized that the complexity of it is far more than just following instructions and we started taking wrong turns very, very quickly and then backtracking and then trying to find the way we'd come and getting slightly lost. There were points where we just like, held up our hands going, I have no idea where we are, where we're going. I think this is a thing to catch out newbies. Yep, and we fell. We fell straight into it. Yep. Oh, this is one of the things. We continue up, don't we? Because there's a stop sign right here, and they were talking about that last night. Potter Valley Road. Yeah, take a right here. Okay, so if, if, if what we're we looking for now, we saw Puffin Way, so we're looking for CZT. Yeah, the Highland Walking Trail. Highland Walking Trail, okay. Yeah. We were car number 20, um, and the highest numbered car was 27, so there would have been a few cars behind us, but we got overtaken, presumably, while we were down wrong turnings. Right, so the situation is this. We finished what is the first proper leg of the rally um, but because of a couple of wrong turns that we made and the time adding on top of that by the time we got to where we were meant to meet up with everyone they've all gone ahead leaving us without any instructions on how to move forward so we are going to have to try and figure out exactly what to do next so we may have been a little bit overconfident to start based on the fact that the first set of instructions only included two left turns. There's definitely a sneaky element to the instructions that would allow you to make mistakes quite easily. And we did. So we are going to figure out what we're going to do and move on to the next leg. Dos minutos. We are zeroed. Okay, and close enough, let's go. I think as we got into the car the second day, we were a little bit more hopeful. Definitely getting our feet under us a little bit. Okay, first instruction. 0.6, CAS 45. 45? Speed limit 45. Right, we're coming up to 0.6 and there's the 45 sign on the right. right. Okay, we're so on. mile marker one, it's just a mister, 2.36. 2.36, Mr. Mile Marker, Mile oh. One, Mile One. We did start to get a feel for the abbreviations. We started getting, uh, not the lingo down, but we started developing our own vernacular. We were able to communicate with each other in acronyms and we started to understand how the instructions wanted us to act. Yeah. All right, 3.6, CAS 45. Okay, and what's after that? Um, there's a Mr. Rocks. At 4.14 mile. Yep. It, okay. So rocks. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Okay. All right. Found a checkpoint. We were really committed to doing better on day two. We really had an idea of uh, how the instructions worked, but not just about following the instructions. Now we were really thinking about averaging our speed correctly and trying to maintain the right timings. Um, and we thought we were doing really, really well. Okay, so they're doing very well, the car in front of us, so we're good to be a minute off them. Okay. So let me just pull where I can see them and make sure we pull away a minute after they do. Okay, zero out. So uh, left after Viking Hill, Old Nash Road. There's a turn here. Yeah. Old Nash Road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you said Old Viking Road. After Viking Hill. Oh, sorry. Okay, and now what? Uh, it's 6.34. Um, Where what? SAP. What's that? Is this um, checkpoint? Salmon Creek Road and Nash Road. Yeah, I think it is. No, they should be on the same side as the road as us. Is it over here? 
No, they need to be on the same side of the road as us, facing in the same direction. So we oh. need to keep going. We yeah. made that mistake before. What's SAP? Um, straight, straight as possible. A slight deviation. Should we have turned down this way and be coming in this this direction? I don't know. Salmon Creek Road. This is Salmon Creek Road. What's SAP. So straight as possible mean fucking turn your car around. When it was going well, we were both like brilliant. But then when stuff goes wrong, it's really easy to start blaming each other. And we never said it out loud, but I shot him some dirty looks a couple of times. Back at day one again, it was just another mess. Well, this is Salmon Creek Road. Yeah. What, and we where, and we need to zero at the crossing of this and what? Nash Road. Okay. So here we think. Yep. Zero it here. Zero it here. It's like Scooby Doo. Cars just going back and forth. People getting lost all over the shop, and we got a little bit frustrated. Where are they going? I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. What, what am I looking for? Uh, 0.18 Salmon Creek. Is that Salmon Creek? Could be. Then at 0.8, Mr. City of Seaward Historic Woodlawn Cemetery. Now we're coming back the way we came. Yeah. I think we take a right. Yeah. And zero out. Okay, I'm gonna zero it here. There it is. I think this would be the great place to birth a divorce. This will be the fourth time we've gone past this yeah. checkpoint station. Or are we supposed to come here twice? Yeah. Do you think we're supposed to go there twice? No, that makes no sense. Yeah. No. No, we weren't meant to stop here. We were meant to pass it twice though. Which kind of makes sense. Yeah. And there's definitely something burning. We ended up second from bottom. So even worse than we had done the day before. But we had one part of one leg where we did okay. Now it's a small victory, a tiny thing, where just between one checkpoint and another that we arrived roughly, roughly, possibly within a minute or two of when we were meant to get there. Oh, day three started off to be the worst. We left a little bit late setting up cameras this morning, so we're now 10 seconds behind. Now, we'll probably end up way more than 10 seconds behind at the end of the day, but I'm now doing both driving and navigating. So, oh crap, I didn't, I, uh, and rear access is open. Ah, and I didn't zero the clock. Shit. Oh my God, this is chaos. Right. Um, being in last place meant that we really had to pull out all the stops. So for the legs that we had on day three, we really, really tried. We were really committed and we really, really tried as hard as we could just to have at least one or two sections where we didn't max out. And it didn't go 100% to plan. Um, point one is a left on Pioneer Avenue. Yeah, okay, we're about point one ahead now because we zeroed late. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, f me, look at that view. It's just the absolute savage beauty of the environment around us. Absolutely, it's like it's carved out of the earth with glaciers and every turn you take, especially this time of year in the fall with the leaves changing color has been absolutely spectacular. So we're finding the route today, but today that's not enough. Well, today we're not satisfied by just finding the checkpoints. No, I know. We're trying to get the timing right now. We're advancing. Um, We've gone from beginner to Intermediate. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's a gray area. Okay. Car, car 20. And it's very important that you look at what your next numbered route instruction is. Yep. Because it may not be what you think it is. Okay, we have chocolate, so I feel better. Okay, so we have 16 minutes here. It is now 11, oh, so 44. 11.43, so 16. 
it takes us to 59. But it'll take us four minutes to get to our out marker. And we've got two instructions to follow in the meantime. Does that make sense? 16 minutes here. We're 16 minutes until we need to be at our out mark, which is four minutes away. So we need to leave here in 12 minutes and do two route instructions on the way. Right, let's go. Right, there's Mr. Bump. Mr. Bump, 7.5. And after that, it's actually a hill named after you. Is it? Yeah, it's Mr. Knob Hill. And Evan's sense of humor is 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 not a sense of humor. It's just mean sometimes. The sense of a joke is a little bit off. But a shared experience it has been. 11.5, Mr. Nolasvic. As a checkpoint. So at each point where we felt we've been improving, a point comes later where we go, oh, actually, we had no idea what we're doing. Today, we've actually figured out much of what these slips mean. On the first day, we didn't even get them because we missed all the checkpoints. On the second day, we got them and we we're just happy that we got them. And now we're actually beginning to read them and understand them a bit more. Okay. Stick that somewhere. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my god, it's descended into that's what she <laughs> said. Next one is 19.4, uh, Mr. North Anchor River. Before blinker into Coastal Realty parking lot. Okay, so that's the end of the leg. Yep. Wow. That one, that I one think went actually if quite nothing well. messes up right here in this moment, we did it. We did a very decent leg. This might be our best leg. It might be. Right, we actually completed the leg and we hit every checkpoint. Yeah, that felt good. I'm feeling now uh, towards you know the middle of day three that if we restarted it now, we'd actually be competitive. But you know, that's the way these things go, right? It's like the end of a track day. The last lap is when you go, oh, I get it, I get the car, I get the track. Now it's time to go home. So it's the end of day three, and although the scores are still being calculated, I think it's still a safe bet that we're going to be close to the bottom. And you know what? I don't really care. We've had a great time with great people, met new friends. I'd never given road rallying the time of day as a motorsport, never really considered it to be something I would enjoy. But quite frankly, now all I can think about is when I could have another go. The real star here though has been Alaska, this savagely wonderful place on the outskirts of the world, a place I never thought I'd ever get to visit, but now I've had the chance to do. And doing it in Road Rally probably was one of the best ways to see it, and I can't wait to come back.